Welcome to the party, pal. Your friend in the neighborhood, Master Chaos, back with you once again. Welcome to day 31. Today, I'm going to give you 100 foolproof tips for YouTube videos during quarantine. I did promise 100 ideas and I'm going to give you 100 ideas. I don't want this video to be 100 hours, so let's go. Number one, shopping halls. People love shopping halls. Two, challenges. That's an easy one. Eating hot wings or... Um, standing in a bathtub full of ice for 24 hours. Challenges are good. For my physical media peeps, number three is easy, obviously. Your DVD collection or your Blu-ray collection. I assume you read, so a book collection. People love collections, that's easy to do. Hell, a VHS collection, there you go, number six. For a hot second as I was coming up on this, I thought this was a snake. It is not. If you're a little freaky, you can always do a scalps, teeth, and fingernail collection. Are you an Uber driver? You should vlog that. That should be very interesting to watch. Do you work at Instacart? Because if you do, it'd be very interesting to see a vlog from an Instacart shopper. Incidentally, my little buddy Sumo <laughs> is with us today, and he'd like to say hello. <laughs> you know what's popular? Room tours. If you're a parent, you can also give some parenting advice. The next two are normally for women, but men, jump on this because it's a niche that needs to be filled. You can do a morning routine. You can also do a night routine. I would also suggest a 24-hour movie marathon and vlogging that. You could do movie trivia with a stranger, of course, now during the pandemic. It's probably not a good idea to talk to strangers. Number 16. Whatever you do, don't trust the elves under your bed. 17. Take one of those uh, BuzzFeed quizzes. People love that crap. How about you and your significant other put together a free pass list and uh, make it a video? And you know what I mean by free pass, don't you? Are you into tech? Easy. Do a tech review. Pick something, review it. You could always try to fake an America's Funniest Home Videos. You know what's really good? Try to scare your grandma and get it on tape. If you have kids, scare your kids. I can vouch that it's a great deal of fun. You can try to make shoes out of duct tape like John McClane. If you're low on resources, you could always try to make underwear out of duct tape. Actually, don't do that. You guys know about mukbangs? Mukbangs? How are you, mukbangs? How are you pronounce those? It's not a dirty word, and they're quite popular. Just as an aside, I am out in the middle of nowhere, and I find this creepy thing. Not exactly sure what's going on here. Why somebody's dirty reading glasses have been left behind. Is somebody buried here? I don't want to find out. Review movies for fun and profit. <laughs> you could also review makeup. That'd be pretty good. Especially if you're a dude. That'd be hilarious. Not that dudes don't need makeup, but you know what I mean. Do a compare and contrast video. People love when you put verses in between anything. You could always try to be a BMX bandit like in that movie Rad, which I reviewed and the link is above. If you want to target health and wellness, maybe try fasting for a day or a month and uh, vlog that. If that doesn't sound fun, you could try to eat ice cream for a day and see what happens. In contrast to that, you can do a video about how you spent 24 hours on the toilet. There's a guy on YouTube that just sits and stares at the camera for hours on end, and uh, he's fairly popular, so you can do that too, sit and stare into the camera. Everyone loves reaction videos, so why don't you react to some movie trailers? Actually, scratch that, there aren't any movies coming out, so maybe react to funny videos? You can start a book club and have your subscribers read along with you. With everything going on, starting a garden is a good idea. Vlog the progress. You could always do a little bit of spring cleaning. People love watching other people clean. I don't know why. Ah, crud. I think I'm lost now. You can show people your extensive troll doll collection, assuming you have a troll doll collection. You could buy a haunted doll off of eBay, then duct tape knives to its hands and vlog the fallout. You could alphabetize your movies or alphabetize your books. Streaming video games is also very easy and very popular. What about your self-care routine? How do you take care of you? We are in a pandemic, so teach us how to make a mask. Do a blind baking challenge. Grab five random items from your kitchen and try to bake a cake with it. You know, it could be anything. Tin foil, uh, sausage, anything. Buy a jar of pickles and throw them at strangers. Not the jar, the pickles. Something that's super popular and super creepy is disproving internet legends. You could become a viral hit or you could be possessed for the rest of your life. Believe it or not, party people, we are only halfway through this list. 
If you're enjoying this so far, please drop me a like. I'd appreciate that very much. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Master Chaos, and I want to be your best YouTube friend. For the next 10 days, I'm going to be focusing on tips and tricks to help grow your YouTube channel, specifically for small YouTubers like myself, and we're going to help each other grow. So please do consider subscribing, and if you do, I'll see you tomorrow because this is a daily show. If you're old here, welcome back, my friend. I'm glad to see you, and I do have to remind you that I love you just the way you are. You can make a funny skit video and play all the parts like uh, Eddie Murphy and Nutty Professor. Countdowns are easy. Do a top three list or a top five list. Top tens and above are pretty popular as well. I did a top 13, which I'm gonna link right here. Basically, countdowns are good. That's the overall note. If you have a scientific mind, try to prove the flat earth. While you're at it, gravity sucks. Try to disprove gravity. 57, tell the elves under your bed to shut the F up because you will not marry their princess. How about you give yourself a quarantine haircut? That'll look good. While you're at it, why don't you do a little uh, quarantine manscaping because you never know what can happen. You can start a religion. YouTube is the best place for cults. You can shave your head and start a survivalist channel. The apocalypse is coming. Screen record your phone and do a commentary on the latest online news. Everybody's doing that, super easy. Go on a nice peaceful hike and film it for people to enjoy. You can reenact famous NASCAR races with Hot Wheels. Cover yourself in Vaseline and slide around the house. If you follow YouTube drama, well, do a comment video on all the YouTube drama that's going on and that will get you some clicks. Oh, you can reenact famous movie scenes with Legos. As an aside, I found these abandoned houses in the middle of nowhere. I don't necessarily want to get murdered even though it would make interesting content. I'm not sure who would upload it. So I'm going to go now. Something fun you can do is play a board game with your audience. An easy one that brings subscribers is giveaways. People are stuck at home, they're hungry. Review some frozen food items. Donuts. Next, buy a gun to shoot the elves that live under your bed because those guys are mother f You could dress up like a giant baby. I mean, you could. Grocery stores probably have a ton of expired food. Buy it and eat it and document what happens. Of course, I'm not responsible for anything that happens. You could learn Kung Fu online and then reteach it on YouTube. You could kiss and tell. If you can whisper, make ASMR videos. You could always try to dust your house. I'm sure there's some freaky people out there that'd love to watch that. You can chronicle your journey as you try to get Kylie Jenner to marry you. And ladies, you can chronicle your journey towards getting Jake Paul to marry you. You can recommend movies on streaming websites. You can also share some crazy life stories. The more personal, the better. Taking a nice bath in Jell-O, that's always good. You could share with us your at-home workout routine. Or you could track your weight loss for, say, a month or so. You can finally give in to the elves under your bed and marry the princess because she's not that ugly, right? <laughs> right. This will require research, but you can do a video on unsolved mysteries. You could also repost other people's creepy videos with permission, of course. Maybe show us what's on your iPhone. Is this even the right way? I mean, I see civilization. Am I, I think I'm going this way. Yeah, I think that's the way. We're in the home stretch, so stay with me. You can make a blanket for it and invite us to join you. Go thrift shopping for some cheap pants and take us with you. You could always document the times because they are a change in. You could look for dangerous animals to mess with. You could make videos to try to get that abomination, The Last Jedi, removed from Star Wars canon. I don't know how to paint, but if you know how to paint, teach us. You can start a family vlog channel with your elf family because you're going to have a lot of kids. You see the elf princess, she's thick. I don't have a lovely singing voice, but if you do, well, then share it. Cover some songs on YouTube. Oh, you could cover yourself in bugs. You could also document yourself going slowly insane and tucking into a little box in your hand. Just a thought. Well. And last but not least, number 100. Make a video about other YouTube ideas. Okay, there's the valley. I'm not lost. This is the way home. Whew! Well, party people, that'll do. I hope this video has helped you and inspired you to go out and make amazing content 
I look forward to seeing every single bit of it. I had a great time. Sumo had a great time. I hope you did as well. Like I said, if you're new here, please subscribe so you don't miss any content. I would hate for you to be left out of the party. Well, my friend, I'm glad to see you so well. I wish you luck in your endeavors. And until we meet again, this has been your friendly neighborhood, Master Chaos, signing off. I wish you a very pleasant good day, good evening, or good night, wherever you are.